Hello, this is Ole Henrik Schelsta. I'm an ambassador for Pentax K1. And the Pentax K1 is loaded for its incredible dynamic range. But how good is it really? This is an image I shot a few days ago. It was starting to get pretty dark in the forest, but yet the sky was shining bright, strong light and colors. So this image is basically exposed for the highlights. So we can see from the histogram that yet we have a little highlights clipping, particularly the reds, and the darks are totally clipped. So I will start with taking down the highlights. Something like that. But yet we have no shadow detail. Let's try to bring up the exposure. And all the incredible thing is happening. Look at this. So much detail captured in the shadows. Just incredible. And I now push the, the exposure five stops. Of course, I have now clipped my highlights completely, so we have to balance this a bit. So let's try to see what we can do. I will take down my highlights even further, something like that. Bring up my shadows. Still, we have some black clipping, so I'll bring up my blacks. Highlights are still clipped, so that was too much. We get some, some gray area here, so we can also fix that by probably take down the... Sorry, that was way too far down. Take down the lights a little. There we are. Much better. And anyway, yeah, and we can still also work on the shadows here. Darks, shadows, and so on. But I have to admit I said wow when I said when I saw this the first time I began working with this image. I had no idea. Let's go closer. Plenty of detail, some light, light grain, but it's not much. And we can try to add some color, vibrance. Look at this, just incredible. And this is just after a few simple adjustments in Lightroom. Yes, the Pentax K1 has an incredible dynamic range. Alright, thank you for watching.